Hello and welcome. This is a pre-recorded presentation about Pacific Northwest College of Art. My name is Katie Sifford. I'm a senior admissions counselor at PNCA and I'm going to be going over general information that you should know about PNCA. So to get started, we are a four-year private nonprofit art school. We're located in downtown Portland, Oregon, and we offer a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree to all our undergraduate students. Today, I'll be talking about why you should apply to PNCA, who should apply, academics, getting a job, life on campus, tuition and financial aid, what you need to apply, and what it looks like after you apply. So why PNCA? I think our mission statement does a really good job of answering this question. I'm just gonna read this to you guys, so feel free to follow along. PNCA empowers artists and designers to reimagine what art and design can do in the world. PNCA students balance studies in the humanities and sciences, uniquely tailored to students in an art college with hands-on art making in studios and labs. Undergraduate students choose from 11 majors and eight minors and benefit from interdisciplinary collaborations throughout their fine art and design education. So basically what this is telling you is that we are a super multidisciplinary school, which means that we encourage students to incorporate all of their interests into their art practice. So as a student, you get full studio access, no matter what your major is. And we wanna see a lot of cross-pollination between practices and boundaries. So it's a really exciting environment to be in. You get a lot of freedom within all our majors. Who should apply to PNCA? Um, so like I said earlier, PNCA, we are a visual art and design college. Um, we're an ACAD art school. Uh, ACAD is the Association of Independent Colleges of Art and Design. Um, basically what that means is you're regionally and nationally accredited and you're worth your salt as an art school. Um, so students who would like to pursue a life of creative practice would be a great fit for PNCA. The majors that we offer are animated arts, creative writing, general fine arts, graphic design, illustration, intermedia, painting, photography, printmaking, sculpture, and video and sound. Additionally, we offer minors in art and ecology, art history, ceramics, creative writing, drawing, fashion, gain, and graphic design. Getting a job after you graduate. So PNCA has this really great office called Bridge Lab Career Services, and they're there to help you find internships while you're in school, to help you with your professional practices guidance, as well as finding jobs and opportunities outside of school. Um, so I'll start with internships. There's a really great list here on the screen of internships that we're currently offering. Some really great companies listed here like Adobe, Adidas, um, Bent Image Labs, Leica, Wyden and Kennedy. Um, really, really great places to work for. Internships, um, more often than not, lead to permanent jobs. So this is a great way to get your foot in the door of some really awesome companies um, and you know, hopefully stick with them for the long term. Professional practices guidance, um, not limited to this list that's on the screen, but some really great things that they offer are um, how to file your taxes as an artist. That might be something you've never thought of before. Um, networking, copywriting your work, negotiating, writing contracts. They help write grants. They help you write your resumes and your CVs. Um, I think the best thing about Bridge Lab is that they're available to you for life as a graduate. So if you ever need help um, with any of these things listed on the screen or even, even finding like a job or an opportunity, um, you will always have 
a resource in your back pocket for like as long as you live. Um, so it's really, really excellent, really, really unique, um, uh, unique thing that they offer in Bridge Lab. So we have graduates working as um, a senior designer at Wyden and Kennedy. Wyden and Kennedy is an advertising firm. They're actually the largest independent advertising um, agency in the world. Um, they love our students, which is really, really excellent. And uh, they're responsible for, um, example, the Just Do It campaign for Nike, all the Old Spice ads you've seen, Target ads, Apple ads. Fabulous company to work for. Um, creative director at Instrument. Instrument is more of an experimental um, graphic design agency. They have worked with um, Levi's and Pinterest, for example. They've also done um, immersive like events, um, which is really exciting to think about for um, graphic designers, especially. Director of the School of Art and Design at Portland State University senior user experience designer at Nike, project manager at Scout Books, artists in Whitney and Venice Biennales, which is really excellent and impressive, apparel developer at Adidas, director and curator at White Box Gallery at the University of Oregon, and owner of Pigeon Toe Ceramics. So you can see um, just by the short list that our students are doing anything from, um, you know, like really client-based work to fine art and anything in between. Life on campus. We've got a lot of different things going on on campus. Um, we have really beautiful facilities. Um, we open up our gallery spaces during first Thursdays to exhibit student work and professional artists. Um, so that's a monthly art walk. Um, really great opportunity to network for our students. Um, we also have a lot of clubs. You can see um, a lot of these that are listed on the screen here aren't even art related. So this is a great opportunity to get some funding for a hobby that you already have, and then more importantly, make some friends along the way. We do have dorms available for um, you know, incoming students. We call our dorms art house. They're apartment style dorms, um, which is really exciting. If you've visited Portland before, you, you might have noticed this building, actually. It's on the corner of Park and Burnside. It's two blocks away from Powell City of Books, which is really excellent for students. Um, it's about a five-minute walk to our main campus, so really, really nice, um, you know, short commute through the um, green park blocks, which is really beautiful um, area to spend your time. But um, anyway, they're apartment-style dorms, so each unit has a full um, kitchen with full appliances, a full bathroom as well, and then each unit also has a washer and dryer. So they're really wonderful spaces. They're super affordable, especially considering the location. Um, and yeah, really beautifully designed. It's a brand new building. Great place to spend your first year at PNCA. For funding, we offer a merit-based scholarship to every single accepted student at PNCA. The maximum is $2,000 or excuse me, $20,000. The minimum, I think, is $10,000. It's so really significant. Um, we also have an early application scholarship of $1,000 per year if you apply by December 15th. We have um, jury scholarships. So if you apply by January 31st, you'll be eligible for an additional $10,000 per year. Per year. We have equity scholarships geared toward BIPOC students. So really working on making art school accessible to um, communities that you know, traditionally have been neglected. Um, and then grant assistance. So if you get your financial award letter in the mail and it doesn't meet your expectations, feel free to reach out to your admissions counselor um, and we'd be happy to advocate for more funding for you. We also have a really great financial aid office. Their contact info is listed here. Um, so feel free to reach out to them if you want some resources on some scholarships outside of PNCA, as well as um, questions regarding your FAFSA application. Here's a few more um, funding opportunities. The CSS profile is geared for international students. The, remaindering, uh, the remainder of these are 
for students who um, otherwise might not have a social security number. Um, folks who don't have a social security number, it's pretty hard to secure federal funding. And so these are alternative resources that you can use to, um, you know, make, uh, to fund your education. How to apply. Our application is super easy. First of all, it's completely free. So um, you have nothing to lose. I remember when I was applying to colleges, I'd have to pay to like 40 to $60 per application. So we don't do that. All we ask for is 10 to 15 samples of work. Remember, we're super multidisciplinary, so that can be anything from your classroom assignments, your personal projects. You can include a variety of stuff that you're working on, like your poetry, YouTube links. Um, basically, if you're excited about it, it's probably a good fit for your portfolio. We offer an additional 10 pages of creative writing samples for students who are interested in the creative writing major. We have an optional essay. If you've done a artist statement for a class assignment, that's a great opportunity to just copy and paste that right into the application and um, call it good. We also will need your unofficial transcripts to get you accepted. And that's it. It's super basic, super straightforward, incredibly easy, and does not take a lot of time at all. So this is the process of what, kind of what it looks like after you apply. Um, remember, you will be assigned an admissions counselor so they can help you through um, every step of the way. But um, after you're accepted, you'll wanna review your acceptance packet. You'll submit your tuition deposit, which is the first payment towards your tuition. That'll kickstart your student email, um, which you'll use to register for your classes. You'll want to um, get in contact with financial aid and just make sure you understand your award letter. You are going to submit an art house request form and roommate matching questionnaire if you're living in art house your first year. Um, you'll need to send us your official transcripts over the summer once you graduate. You'll wanna set up a payment plan with our student accounts office. You'll RSVP to new student, student orientation, which is like a really fun two-day event. And then arrive at PNCA and um, just have a really good time being an official PNCA student and um, you'll be well on your way to getting your degree. So to conclude, um, why PNCA again? Uh, I think this blurb uh, is a really good indicator of you know, our community. Um, so again, I'm gonna read this one to you as well. We do things differently here. We experiment, we challenge one another, and we ask big questions like, what can art and design do in the world if we push ourselves to reimagine everything? We support one another and work together to break things apart and put them back together in new ways. We are growing all the time, confront confronting new ideas, and building new skill sets with new tools and processes. Through our community, we learn to better understand the work we make and how it can make an impact in the world. And we, each of us, drive our own continued learning through our making and research while simultaneously learning to think critically about our own work and that of others. So this is a really good reflection on how we think our students move through the world um, after they graduate. It's by always being a critical eye and making a difference and making changes. Um, so that's what we find exciting and that's what we train for. Here's our contact info. If you have any additional questions, feel free to shoot us an email at admissions at pnca.edu. Our telephone number's there as well. Um, we've also included some Instagram handles in this presentation, um, so feel free to give us a follow or just check us out. Um, the admissions page will post about events that they're hosting as well as important deadlines that you should know about. The documentation studio one is great. We have a couple of photographers on staff and they document the student work on campus, including um, thesis projects for seniors. Um, so that's a great way to see the work that's coming out of PNCA as it's happening. Um, I wanna thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. Um, 
don't hesitate to reach out to us if there's anything you need or any questions that you have. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.